Oh, well, um, off the um, international break and during it, you were linked with the Melbourne Victory job. Um, what have you got to say <laughs> good, about that? Good question to start with. Uh, speculation again. Uh, I've, I've had no discussions with uh, anybody at this stage, so uh, it's just an article that's uh, being thrown out there. So tomorrow potentially could be your last game in Wellington if you don't get a home final and you decide to move on. Um, why haven't you sort of yeah, made any sort of announcement about your future, um, knowing that it could be your, your, your farewell? Yeah, I don't think there's a need to at this stage. Uh, and also, hopefully, this is not our last game in Wellington. Uh, hopefully, we get a good result against uh, Victory that puts us, uh, pushes us forward. Uh, the aim is to try to finish in the top four so we can play a home final. Uh, we've got another home game up in Auckland and hopefully we, all the results go well for us in the sense that we win our game uh, against Victory first and then look at the, uh, the last four after that. But uh, we're pushing towards to, to get a home final, so hopefully it's not our last game in yeah. Wellington. Do you think that's a um, realistic target with, with where you're on the table? Well, at the moment we're, we're battling with Central Coast on the same points. Uh, so for us, it's very important to, to win our home games. Uh, we're playing against a team that had a good result just before the international break against Central Coast. So there's no easy games and every game is, is very important and this is a, a massive game for us. And um, Oscar's had his baby? Yes. Um, so is that a nice boost to have him and you know, his clay? <laughs> yeah, well, that's all out of the way, uh, thank God. So he's quite happy and I think his missus is quite happy as well. So, and uh, he had a bit of chance with a bit of a break as well uh, during that period, during the international break. So yeah, he's, he's all good, uh, he's, he's ready to go. I'm just, I don't want to dwell on the coaching stuff too long, but w when will we get a timeline on when you need to make a decision by? Because I think the club said you, they'll have a timeline by the end of the season. At least. Yeah, we, we haven't hit that yet, so we'll find out soon. When, when is it then? Uh, do you know or you're just not sure? No, there's no pressure from the club at this stage on me to, to do that, but uh, I'm, I'm sure there will be. And just because you spent your birthday watching the All Whites, is that is that all in the past, the potential linking to the All Whites? Yeah, that's, the that's all, no, that's all in the right, past. All yeah. done? Okay, right. thank you. Um, Clayton Lewis, what, what's his um, status in terms of not playing 90 minutes if needed? Uh, look, the, the great thing about Clay, he came back early. Uh, it was fantastic for him to uh, get some minutes with, with the All-Whites. Uh, at this stage, uh, with the medical team, we're looking at Clay for around 60 minutes. Uh, we'll make a decision whether he starts the game or he comes off the bench and uh, gives us that impact that we need as well. So I uh, haven't really decided on what the, the starting 11 looks like after the last result that we had, uh, even though I thought we played some decent football at times. Uh, just weren't clinical like the opposition were. So, uh, which opens up the door for me as a coach to be able to select a team uh, that I believe is going to win the game against Melbourne Victory. So you've got pretty much a full squad, is there anybody? Yes, yeah, yes. Everybody. Yeah, pretty much full squad. Lucas arrived uh, late last night uh, from uh, back from the uh, Oli Roos tour, so we'll give him today to refresh and we'll make a decision what that left uh, fullback position looks like as well. The last two home games, Newcastle and Sydney, um, you, for want of a better phrase, shut up shop, yeah. probably earlier than you wanted to. That's right. Have you thought, oh, I know you have, what have you thought about ways of doing that differently if the same situation should arise again? Well, the, the, better, the better way of doing it for me is obviously maintaining possession of the ball so the opponent does, doesn't have opportunities to uh, attack your goal. Uh, I think that's something that we need to do definitely better. Uh, if we can ma maintain possession of the ball and pick the moments and create best chances when we're in the lead uh, and nullify the, uh, the opponent from uh, coming towards our goal. Uh, at times, it, it, it might change if they throw an extra number forward uh, in, in the front line. Does that mean that we, do, that we need to adapt uh, by putting an extra number there or, or, or can we deal with the situation? And the, the best thing to do is obviously maintain possession and score another goal and kill the game completely. But uh, if that's not happening, then that's a decision we make from the sideline from what we see uh, as coaches. And that's what we get paid for to make those decisions. So uh, if we need to uh, go into a back five uh, to get the result that we need, it's, it's, it, it will happen. And uh, I think every pre-season prediction I saw had victory, certainly in the top six. Most predictions had them in the top two. What do you see has gone wrong at victory this season? Yeah, look, I don't think things have gone wrong. I think they've had uh, moments in the game where they've, they've played well uh, and they haven't capitalised on that momentum that they've created within games. Uh, they've, they've created opportunities to score and they haven't punished teams. Uh, they've had a bit of, uh, obviously, I won't say luck, but... Uh, uh, where players have been injured, uh, influential players for them have been out for, for certain parts of the season. So I think, uh, as you know, in the A-League, consistency is key with, with the starting team, and I think they haven't had that opportunity this year. But again, they're, they're still a, a good team with good players that, that can hurt you, and uh, it's very important that we're focused and we, we need to go out there and, and stick to the game plan. Um, was signing up Alex Rue for a no-brainer, given Nagarkovic and Lewis moving on? Yeah, it's, I think it's very important, uh, you know, uh, with Stevie going uh, and Clay going, uh, we need a six and uh, Roos has done a fantastic job uh, coming back in from his injury. 
Uh, he's the captain of the side. Uh, I think he's a, a very important player for Wellington Phoenix, and uh, it's great that he showed uh, some loyalty and, and signed on for another for, for for a long time with, with the club. And I think uh, you know he's been here from he's been here a lot longer than I have, uh, Alex. And he's had uh, he's had ups and downs with injuries, but he's always come through it. So he's mentally tough, and uh, I think he's a fantastic acquisition for the club. Um, I also saw Giancarlo Italiano got his uh, pro licence this week. Is he, is he ready to coach at A-League level, do you think? How about, how about him? you want to give a shout out to... Yeah, look, Chief, Chief has been my right-hand man uh, since we've been here. Uh, he does a lot of work in the background that uh, you possibly don't see as an assistant coach. Uh, he's the buffer between me and the players. Uh, at times and look at at the end of the day you only know uh, if you're ready when you do actually take the uh, take the role uh, as a head coach uh, if you got to put yourself in that seat first and then make those decisions but look chief he's for me he's, he's a, a fantastic person uh, first and foremost and I think he's, he's a very good coach as well so if the opportunity arises why not um, you prefer him to stay on your right hand Oh, look, I, I'm never going to hinder anybody from uh, taking that opportunity. Uh, for me, I'd be proud as, 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 a, as a coach and as a person that I've worked alongside with Chibi for a long time. And for me, that if he's developed under me and working with me and the opportunity arises for him to take a head coaching role, I'll be, I'll be quite pleased, to be honest. We've seen um, you know, great and bad moments from Ollie Sale this season. He, he's still your man in goal. I think pretty well against China Yeah, I think he had two good games. I think uh, he kept uh, the All Whites uh, in the game, especially the first game. I think uh, I think the the one save he had to make low down to his left, and I think he made some good saves in the second game as well. So look for us, uh, all his. Uh, Ollie's an important player for us. Uh, I think he's one of the best goalkeepers in the competition, regardless of the decisions players make uh, at the end of the season. I've said this before, they're, they're Wellington Phoenix players and they're contracted to us and they're professionals and they'll go out there and do their job. 